Hidden Object Guru here with a little demonstration of what it's like to use Plitch to cheat at Skull the Hero Slayer. I've done a bunch of this already and I was collecting footage uh, for some videos about this and I'm going to show how great it looks. Thank you. I don't get the shield guy personally. I don't see the value of him but man, he's one of the characters. All right, so uh, so first things first, as usual, you hit the once you've installed Plitch and loaded the game via Plitch, you hit zero to uh, load up your cheats, turn on God mode. You can uh, bind that to whatever you want, and of course, the most important thing you want is no skill cooldown. That's what makes this thing so incredible. Oh, also, you can just get a bunch of gold if you want, and of course, a ton of Darkasite. Which, of course, uh, is, I guess, what it was called in the demo version that they started building their cheats based on. It's actually called Dark Quartz now. Oh, I missed the flying guy. So now I'm going to show you the uh, the value of cheating in this game. So see that uh, clubbing move? I can just do that over and over again indefinitely. It's pretty awesome, actually. Oh, I poisoned a dude. So instead of just punching dudes for... 20 damage, I can slam them for 75. And since I can't be hurt, well, it just becomes uh, one of my favorite things to do, which is a revenge run. That's when you take a game that you've already beaten, and oh god, did it take a lot out of me to beat this game. Uh, and you go back, you turn on all the cheats, and you just go nuts with it. Uh, that was, by the way, the first game I think I ever... I mean, not counting, you know, using cheats in Doom, because everybody used cheats in Doom. Doom was the first game where we found out about, you know, such wonderfully, there we go, transformational cheats as walking through walls. Okay. Oh, yes, werewolf. No, oh, no, sorry, Minotaur. Very nice. And I destroyed it, because I'm a dumb dumb. That was embarrassing. Anyway, was I saying? Yes, transformational cheats. You know. Uh, all weapons, all ammo, walking through walls, punches that make guys explode. You know. Cheats. Uh, very few games have cheats now. It's quite disappointing. I think my favorite ever revenge run, though, was a little game called... Uh, I don't know if you ever played this game. Uh, Condemned 2 Bloodshot. So Condemned was a game about uh, solving serial killings with a guy who... Uh, I don't know exactly what his deal was. He had headaches a lot and he used them to help him solve crimes. Yeah, someone was using sound waves to turn people into serial killers and then it was making birds explode. It was a weird game. But the point is, Condemned 2 uh, fired Greg Grunberg as the star of the game, which is a little sad, and made the guy less schlubby and more just a generic action uh, game hero. Which is weird, because it was a first-person game, so it's not like you really ever saw what the guy looked like. Strange that they were obsessed with doing that. The point is, it was a first-person boxing game, essentially. You got in, you, you fist fought with people, there was a cute fight club sequence. And, of course, the greatest part of the game was uh, when you go to a... There we go. You go to a lodge in the middle of the woods to look for a clue and then you get bedeviled by a monstrous bear and it's honestly unbelievably entertaining. But anyway, the point is, wow, he's about to do a super move, huh? Ow. If only that was capable of hurting you. Uh, so he's saying, seriously, dude, relax. It's over. Uh, as I was saying. So anyway, if you beat the game with, uh, I don't remember the criteria. It's not important what the criteria was to the story. With a certain criteria, you unlock a cheat that gives you unlimited ammo. So, what had been a game... Let's just uh, embiggen my uh, end, shall we? What had once been... There we go. Uh, what had once been a game about boxing and, like, grabbing the... And this is a true thing that happened in one of the two games. I'm delighted by it grabbing the arm off of a mannequin and using it to beat up a serial killer became a game where a bunch of guys tried to beat you up with like knives and clubs in their bare hands and you had unlimited bullets for your gun. 
And suddenly, it was just that scene from Indiana Jones. Over and over and over again. A guy springs out, he's got a sickle, and you're like, oh, okay. And then you shoot him and he falls over. R you know, lather, rinse, repeat. Uh, it was fantastic. Okay, careful. Wow, these guys are still tough. If only I wasn't invulnerable. Uh, seriously, though, this is a great game. Uh, it's completely possible, possible, possible to beat it without cheating. But uh, I will say, I have enjoyed cheating at it a lot. Uh, there are a lot of characters who have unbelievably great powers. Actually, Frost Skull is a perfect example of that. Thanks, game. Oh, this is such a good power. And being able to do the power with no cooldown. So as you can see, normally that cooldown would be 20 seconds. Instead, I can just do this all I want and uh, murder everyone. It's beautiful. And the more powerful I get, uh, sorry, the more I evolve this guy, and of course use the right, uh, buy and find the right things, he will get more and more powerful, and then uh, boom. This is the kind of thing that can beat the final boss. 30 seconds. It's magnificent. So yes. This was already a great game that I'm super happy with in every way. Seriously, one of the best roguelites I've ever played. But, uh, you, you add in the ability to cheat and oh boy, suddenly you got something, you go from something that's a great game, suddenly it's just a blast and a half. What is this guy's deal? Right, throwing knives. What a weirdo. I think I'm gonna go back to my ice dash. Anyway, so yes, uh, another game massively increased in uh, playability, and let's face it, entertainment factor by Flitch. Way to go, guys. I've been the Hidden Object Guru. Thanks for coming on this journey with me. If you had a good time and you'd like to see more, there's buttons for that coming up. Questions, suggestions, related whatnots, go in the comment section below the video. I'm gonna see you back here for more of me cheating at video games. Uh, but until then, I'm gonna say that's right. Au revoir.